fly at first base. Who is on first? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you who is on first. I'm asking you who's on first. To Abbott and Costello, it was just a joke. But to Democrats, it's serious business. Who's on first for the presidential nomination? Although the talk gets a little bit comical when you consider the latest buzz in Democratic circles, which is why don't Hillary Rodham Clinton and Barack Obama just run together as a ticket? That's the easy answer for a lot of Democrats who are worried about a meltdown uh, at the convention this summer. Uh, the hard part is, who's on first if they run together? Hillary Clinton the other day in an interview almost sounded like Abbott and Costello when she was mentioning that possibility and talking about who might actually be on top of the ticket. Well, that may uh, you know, be where this is headed, but of course we have to decide who's on the top of the ticket. <laughs> and I think that uh, the people of Ohio very clearly said that it should be me. Clinton's best argument for being on first in a ticket with Barack Obama would be that she's won the big states. We've heard a lot about that. Um, and that her demographics uh, show great potential for reaching blue-collar voters in a lot of the swing states. Uh, she will also argue, I'm sure, at least privately, uh, that she and Bill Clinton are somewhat entitled, uh, not something a, a lot of Democrats like to hear publicly. Uh, but as the only two Democrats alive who won the White House twice, uh, they will be making the case to superdelegates and others that they are the ones who are the proven winners. Barack Obama's best argument is he's ahead in delegates, uh, although the delegate counts are a little softer than some of the media would make it seem. Um, and uh, Obama can argue quite effectively that he is reaching out to a lot of non-voters and a lot of uh, uh, unconventional voters uh, who, who, who don't traditionally show up. What about the question of Clinton as Obama's running mate? She does bring white women, blue-collar voters, and older voters to the table for a campaign. Uh, but in the presidency, what, the, what would that be like? Uh, Obama might want to consider Clinton as the Democratic Dick Cheney. Uh, she could do a lot of the hard work behind the scenes, working with Congress, uh, getting legislation through, uh, being the bad guy, so to speak, uh, while he can go out and give the speeches and photo ops and be the great leader. Um, not sure if that's what Obama's into. Who's on first? That's what I'm trying to find out. At least on the Democratic side, we still don't know who's on first. Take it easy, take it easy, man.